I'm Steve Stoller, Plano's Media Relations Director, and this is Plano City News, your local-only Plano newscast. This week, we start with a lane closure alert due to construction of DART's Silver Line Bridge over US-75. Work will begin on April 22nd, resulting in nightly weekend lane closures. The bridge will be located along Spring Creek, just south of the President George Bush Turnpike in Richardson. Through July 24th, the northbound and southbound HOV lanes, as well as the far left northbound lane, will be closed to traffic Friday and Saturday nights from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. The northbound lane closures will begin just south of Gallatin Parkway and extend to the PGBT, while the southbound lane closure will start in Plano, just north of Plano Parkway, and extend almost to Gallatin Parkway. DART's 26-mile Silver Line will stretch from Plano to DFW Airport. Construction is expected to be complete in late 2024. Attention high school and college students. Plano Parks and Recreation still has a critical need for lifeguards. If the positions are not filled soon, we may have no choice but to restrict hours at our pools. Pool hours will be announced in mid-May. According to Recreation Services Manager Susie Hergenreiter, those hours solely depend on how many lifeguards we're able to hire. A successful hiring event last month added substantial numbers of camp counselors and other summer positions to the aquatic staff, but still not enough to fully staff our pools. Those who are hired must also be trained. The safety of our patrons is a top priority we will not compromise. For more information regarding these and other open positions, go to Plano.gov slash employment. Have you seen the blue bonnets blossoming around Plano? Wildflower season has arrived. This video was shot just off the Blue Bonnet Trail near Custer Road in Spring Creek Parkway, one of the four best areas in the city to see wildflowers. The others are the right of way along Spring Creek Parkway at Oak Point Park and Nature Preserve by the Red Tail Pavilion, the right of way along Parker Road at Arbor Hills Nature Preserve, and the legacy and communications area at Legacy West. One of the few remaining examples of early 20th century architecture left in Plano will receive designation as a registered Texas state landmark from the Texas Historical Commission. The Aldridge House on Avenue H, built in 1907, is the oldest example of prairie-style architecture in our community. The home belonged to Charles Aldridge, an important landowner, farmer, and school board member. The house is currently one of Plano's 34 heritage landmarks. It will receive its state historic marker on April 23rd. The public is invited to attend the ceremony. That does it for this week's edition of Plano City News. For more from our great city, head to social media. Check us out there, and you can always go to our website, plano.gov. We'll see you next week.